there guys and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing very well today. As you can see by the title, oh, we have an everything five pound haul. Uh, I'm really excited to get in here and try things on. I'm really, really hoping they're going to fit. Um, I've heard very, very good reviews about everything five pound and I thought why not join in on the action. Um, so before we get started, if you haven't already, if you want to hit that subscribe button, it would be absolutely fantastic. Um, if you want to hit the little notification bell as well, it'll just let you know whenever I upload a video. And of course, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Let's get on with it. Right, yeah, so they have squeezed everything in there. Right, guys, so the first thing we have here is the Open Neck Plain Knit Sweater in the colour like Camo. Um, so let's go down there. So here is the first top. So the first thing that caught my eye with this top was the colour. Um, I am so into this colour at the moment. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it just says here that it is 80% viscose and 20% polymade. So yeah. Um, so it is a jumper. Um, it is not a thick jumper which is good because I get hot very very easily and I love how long the top is I think that is absolutely perfect hides a multitude of sins hopefully <laughs> um but yeah I just I think that feels really really nice it feels really soft okay something I didn't notice when I was buying it um it has these gold bits on I'm not normally I don't normally like gold bits um i'm a silver jewelry kind of girl and i like all my accessories to be silver um but i don't think no one's going to notice them really are they? it's just three on each cuff and um, but yeah it's got nice detailing on the cuff so that's what that looks like i really actually like that even though it's gold uh yeah it's got a nice weight to it as well um and everything I have ordered today is in a size 18. Um, but yeah, let's see what it looks like on. Right guys, here is the jumper. Oh, I love it. I really, really love it. I love the length of it. Um, it doesn't feel too tight at all. Um, here is a close up. Of that I don't even mind the gold bits now now I've got it on I don't mind the gold bits at all and um, every now and then when I'm going to think oh what's that but it's just them bits flapping <laughs> um, but yeah the length is okay not too long which is great um, the neck on it is really nice really nice and loose which is lovely um, yeah it feels it just feels really soft and a nice warm jumper without being too thick yeah, really, really like it. Yeah, the main bit that I really like is the length and the colour. Mm. Hey right, guys, next we have some fake leather leggings. So these are way, 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 way out of my comfort zone. I've been wanting to try some for a while and I thought... These are a fiver. Let's give these a go. I'm not going to miss on miss out on loads of money if I don't like them or whatever. So let's have a look. So these are a size 16 to 18. They didn't do just a size that was size 18. So I'm hoping they are going to fit. So they've got the band, the top band on them, which is very, very thick. But just handling them like that, they've got an elastic band inside of the material, which is that thick. which I find bizarre. Um, I don't think they look like leather either. Might do when they're on, I don't know. Do they? I don't know, I'm confused. I'm, I'm not exactly an expert in this field. Right, so they stretch quite a bit, so I'm hoping they're gonna go over my arse. Um, yeah, I'm really scared that I've bought these. Oh my God, step out of your comfort zone. And so what does that label say? Cotton bio. Oh, I am actually really liking that inside. Lovely. 
Oh, my estimations have just gone up. I was thinking they feel kind of heavy from the way that they look. They just look like these little things that will weigh like a feather. But yeah, wow, that's going to be lovely. That's what's on the inside. I like that. I really like that. I hope these fit and I hope I like them. Is there any? Right, and it just says here it's 85% polymade and 15% elastithene. Hmm. Very, very scared. Let's put them on. Right, so I now have the leggings on. I'm really paranoid. I don't like the tops of my thighs at all, so I feel very embarrassed doing this. Do you think they look okay? I think from a distance, they just look like normal leggings, don't they? And then when you get up close, that's when you can see the shine. Uh, they feel lovely. Um, the fur inside of them feel amazing. Uh, they are higher at the front than they are at the back. Um, I think because obviously it's got a booby to go over, maybe that's why. So, yeah. But they feel secure, they don't feel like they're just going to come down, which is great. Um, yeah, I really, really like them. And just to give you an idea of the length as well, so I've chucked that one into the boot. That's what it looks like. Um, and then this one, I've let go over the top of the boot. Um, so you can tell that they are quite short legging. They're only about an inch longer than where the boot starts uh, just to give you a bit of reference um, i am five foot three and i have a 29 inch leg inside leg but yeah i think that these go really well together i just want to do the walk test to see what the noise is like with the leggings Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I think the noise of the boots kind of drowns out a little bit of the noise from the leggings. Right, guys, and the next thing I have here is a textured knit beanie hat. Um, I'm not really one for hats, but the weather's cold and horrible at the moment. Taking the dog for a walk, I thought, what's the harm in, what's the harm in just getting a little hat there? So this is what the hat looks like. Um, that's what it looks like inside. So that's fantastic. That's definitely going to keep me noggin warm. Uh, yeah, it feels really good quality. Um, really, really happy with that. Um, okay. Oh, okay. So it says 30% rabbit hair and 70% acrylic. Hmm. But I say it feels absolutely lovely. Um, I will try that on and see what that looks like. Right guys, so here is the hat. I don't know what I think because I'm not a hat person. I don't know if I like it or not. I think this beanie bit could have been a little bit bigger. If I am 100% honest. Um, but I think it will be alright just to go out and walk the dog with. It look all right. Maybe it would look better with like some hoops or something. <sighs> very hot, I must say. Very, very hot. Um, I think I like it. I don't know. As I say, I'm not a hat person. I really shy away from them. But yeah. I think it'll be all right when I'm walking the dog. Whether I can pluck up the courage to wear it anywhere else, I hope so. Um, but it feels a really good quality hat. Um, I think I like it. Right guys, and the next thing we have is a floral chiffon sleeve top. Um, so let's open it. Okay. It feels like that shiny material, but it doesn't look too shiny, thank goodness. Um, I'm just looking there. It is slightly see-through. You can see through that, can't you? Hmm. 
um, but it feel it does feel really nice. Um, the arms are what caught my eye. I like the contrast uh, to the body of the top to the to the arms. Um, I think it's really really pretty. Information that I can find on the label, it's it's not a lot <laughs> to be honest. Um, it just says UK five percent elastine, and that is it. Hmm. So that's the main bit of the top. What are the sleeves? I have no idea. <laughs> um, but it feel it does feel really really nice. That is the back of the top. So we've got two buttons at the top there. Um, it yeah, it feels stretchy. Um, I'm hoping that's going to be a nice length on. I think it will be. I think that's going to be a nice long length top. Um, and I, as I say again, the sleeves really, really got me. I'm really excited to try that on. Again, just put a pair of jeans on and whack that on and it dresses it up instantly without making too much of an effort, which is my life at the moment. Uh, well, which is everybody's life at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I'm really liking that. And I like the neck detail as well. It's slightly raised on the on the neck which I think is really cool. But yeah, again, let's try this bad boy on and see what it's like. But it feels, the quality feels all right. Um, yeah. Right guys, so here is the top. I am loving the arms on it. I am very, very paranoid uh, about my arms. They're huge and flabby and bleh. who likes their arms? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> um, but yeah. I really, really like it. Um, I like, ignore the jeans. <laughs> These are what I was wearing um, and I couldn't bother to change them. So yeah, do that, yeah, ignore the jeans. Um, but yeah, this is the length of the top, perfect length. So I would wear these with darker jeans. Um, I think, yeah, definitely with darker, darker jeans. Um, yeah. I really, really like it. It fits like a dream. Um, I love everything about this top. But yeah, really, really like it. So yeah, that's the, the front and the side and the back. It's just the length continues all the way around. I know on some tops, um, especially on this boutte, <laughs> uh, the tops can be a bit shorter on the back than the front, but it's the same, which is really, really good. I really, really like it. Um, so just a closer look of the arms. So as you can see, yeah, it's like a mesh material. You can see my tattoo <laughs> underneath, which is absolutely fine. I love that detail. I love it. It just makes it so you can breathe. And it's just enough to cover your arms. Um, then looking at the sleeves, so the sleeves have got two buttons on. It's got a few little loose bits of threads, but I'll go get some little teeny tiny snippers and snip them off. Um, five pound, guys. Five pound. I'm well happy. I've got a right bob in here. Right, so the next thing I have here is a tiny flower print shirt. Let's get it out of the bag, Joanne. Um, it's by the brand Blue Chameleon. I don't know if that's a good one or not. I don't know what made me get this, if I'm honest. I think I just saw the flowers and I thought, oh, that's really, really pretty um, and bright for me. Um, so I thought, oh, why not get a bit of a brightness into my life? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, it feels nice. It's definitely not cotton. What is that? Find the label. 100% polyester. But yeah, I just thought maybe wear this with a little white vest top underneath or something and have it totally undone and wear it as a jacket kind of thing. Um, or whatever. We'll see what it looks like, can't we? Right, so we've got the... We've got the collar here and then we've got cream buttons going all the way down. Uh, it looks like a very good length once again. Is there any other details on there? Um, so yeah, we've got the sleeves there and then you've got the little thing here that holds it up. So your sleeves will probably come out about here, which, which I like. But yeah, yeah, I really, really like that. A bit of red lippy on to match it would be lovely. But yeah, 
let's try it on. Right guys, so here it is. Um, I think from this, from here, it looks, it looks really, really nice. It's a little bit tight at the top here. I don't think that's the shirt's fault though. That is me, it's because I have fat, chunky arms, which I'm trying to work on. Um, but I do like it. The flowers are lovely. It's one of them shirts, I'm just moving around a little bit and it keeps moving back that way. And I'm trying to come it back to where it's supposed to be. That's a little bit annoying if I'm honest. Um, so I've got a few buttons undone and this, I'm not wearing a white top or anything underneath it. I'm just wearing a little bralic crop toppy thing. Um, so I'm just gonna move the camera down. So you've got two slits that come up the side here. Um, I like the length of that at the back. These seem a bit high, if I'm honest. Very, very high indeed. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, or it's just me, or, but I still like the top. I really, really like it. Does it come across as really see-through? I don't think it does, does it? But yeah, I do like it. There's one thing about this top that I don't like. Um, so these bits here that keep the shirt up, um, because, because the sleeve is so narrow, it only goes up so far. So as soon as I put my arms down, as soon as I put my arms down like that, I can feel that that is pulling on the button because that won't go up any, well, it will go up further if I do that, I suppose, but yeah. But when I move my arms back up like that, the shirt goes back to the narrow bit of my arm and then when I do that, it pulls again. So as long as I be mindful and keep doing that. This side feels a bit more narrow compared to this one. Now I'm actually inspecting it. So for some reason that sleeve there is thinner than that one because it's in both in the same position but I can do that with that one and then hmm how very strange but that's not the be all and end all it feels a really nice top because there's quite a bit of room here what do you guys think? I just was getting vibes from the top that it could be quite autumnal, um, but at the same time, with the colours and everything, it could also be summery. I like how it's got lots of room in. I don't feel like I'm crushed in it all. Hmm. So far, so good, guys. Guys, and the next thing I got is a cream knit jumper. This looks lovely. So here it is. Um, it's got a nice weight to it. It's not too thick. Um, it looks softer than it is, but it's not that material that's going to make you itch, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, that label's been cut out, hasn't it? Obviously. <laughs> Um, where are you? Right, there's no label in there telling us exactly what the material is. Obviously it's wool, I just wanted to see if there was anything else in there as well. Um, but this is the pattern on the jumper there. Hopefully that's going to be a nice length once it goes over my belly and hips. That's if it gets as far down as my hips, that is. But I really, really like it. I love the colour. The colour is, yeah, it's just down as cream. But if you look, it's got flecks of different colours in there. It's got like a fleck of, is that black or a grey? And a fleck of like an orangey colour as well. Um, which is really, really nice. It's given me like a bit of granddad vibes, which is, yeah, which is great. I love it. But as I say, the weight's quite nice on it and for the price, it, the quality feels really, really good. So yeah, happy with that. Let's go try this on. Right guys, in here is this gorgeous jumper. 
Um, so the material, once it's on, it feels a little bit stiff, um, but not in a bad way. Um, I actually feel really snuggly in it, which is really, really nice. Um, as I say, I love the pattern of the knit. I really, really do. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and the length on it, it's just perfect. I'm so happy. Really, really nice. I just feel so, so comfortable in it. And these jeans are something that I would wear with it, uh, most definitely. If you're wondering, these jeans were from Asda, if anybody wants to know. Um, but yeah, really, really love this jumper. Um, I just think it's absolutely fantastic. So, just inspecting everything. So if we look at the neck, I like the crew neck, how it just, it's not too tight around the neck. Um, plenty of room to move around in it, most definitely. The reason why I'm not doing that with this on is because I have a sore shoulder, just to <laughs> let you know. Um, but I love it. I even I love the length of the sleeves. Um, I know some jumpers you can get where they're way, way too long or way too short. These are, are perfect for me, most definitely. And yeah, love the colour. I'm going to get lots and lots of use out of this, most definitely. So yeah, once again, very happy. So yeah. Right guys, and the very last thing I have here is a pair of lace up boots in the colour tan. Um, I thought, wow, for a fiver, let's just see what the quality is like. Right, so here are the boots. I think they're lovely, absolutely lovely. They've got a lovely weight to them. Uh, they are dirty, may I say though. Um, they've got like a mark here. Does that come off? It does come off, but this, mm, yes, it does come off. Um, but yeah, it's got marks all the way up here too. And here. Oh, that's where the paper that it was in the box was stuck to the, stuck to the boot. But I mean, it feels great. I mean, five pounds, five pounds. That's going to go really well with some of the mountains I bought, actually, now I'm holding them. I, I never even planned to do that, but never mind. Let's check this other one out. Um, right, okay, so we've got some dirt or whatever here. Dust, I think it is. Uh, that is dirt that's actually stuck on. I'll have to give that a little scrub. There's a mark there. Some kind of mark here, too. And here. That one's just scratched straight off. Um, and then they've got the zip on the inside, which I love because I am terrible when it comes to my trainers um, and stuff like that. I kick them off my feet. So when it's time for boot weather, it is a total pain in the behind when you've got to sit there and you've got to ugh, do them up and put them up. So that is a lifesaver for me just whack that zip down and, and obviously whack your foot in um i don't know if i mentioned i got these in a size four um so yeah let's get these tried on too right guys and here are the boots um i must admit when i was putting them on and lacing them up you can tell that they're not the best quality uh if i'm uh, if i am totally honest and you can hear them as well that's the shoes making that noise. Um, I could have got away with ordering a size 3. Uh, these are a size 4, but they are nice. Uh, I know I look a bit odd. I thought I'd do one leg of each. So if you like wearing your boots like that with your jeans tucked in, that's what it looks like. <laughs> and then if you like wearing your jeans or trousers over the top of your boots, that's what it looks like. <laughs> um, but yeah, they are very, very nice. And I love the colour of them. Um, I don't care if they're poor quality, if I'm honest. They feel comfortable. Um, they were five pounds, so even if they just last this winter and then die after that, I don't mind at all, because they are very, very nice. And yeah, for a fiver, can it go wrong?
yeah really really like them right <laughs> I've just raced back up the stairs, put the clothes on that I had on before. I feel all twisted now. Get back. <laughs> right, so that was the try on. Um, I am very, very, very happy. This is one happy girl right here. Oh my goodness. Um, everything fit. Everything fit. I loved it. I loved everything. The shirt had a little bit of a negative. Um, the leather look leggings had a little little bit of a negative because of the lower at the back. But you know, I loved it all. I loved it all. This is what I call retail therapy. Cheap retail therapy. There is a God. <laughs> um, but no, I am super, super happy. Um, I always kind of dread when I order clothes. It takes me ages to go online and decide what to order uh, because I get that horrible yakky feeling thinking, oh God, they're going to get you. It's not going to fit. It's not going to look nice. Um, I'm a very, in here, I am a very, very negative person. So it, that was nice and refreshing. Everything's come, everything fits and I'm happy with everything. What else can I say? <laughs> um, I will leave a link to everything five pounds down in the description box below. Uh, it is not affiliated in any way. I've bought everything today with my own money. Um, but yeah, that concludes the video. Thank you so, so much for popping on over. I will see you in the next one. Bye.